today's tip of North America on an island called Newfoundland. There's an airport, and next to it is a town called Gander. Tonight, we honor what was lost, but we also commemorate what we found. You are here at the start of a moment on the edge of the world. By now, there's a good chance you're familiar with this classically Canadian so story served up night after night by a supremely talented cast and crew. And like all productions in this country, Come From Away has been silenced by the COVID-19 pandemic. But guess what? There's hope. After 643 days, the stage at the Royal Alex Theatre will come alive once again on December 15th. Joining us now on CP24 tonight, cast members, Steffi Di Domenicanio. Did I get that somewhat right? Hey, you're so close. It's Di Domenicantonio, but you did great. I tried. And James Call, <laughs> welcome to you both. Thanks so much for being here. I'm so happy that you're both here, and I'm so happy that it won't be long now until we get to hear your voices, see your performances once again on the stage. Steffi, what do you think that moment's going to be like? Oh my goodness, you know, just hearing uh, the finale music from that B-roll of the show just made my adrenaline shoot up and my heart started beating so quickly. <laughs> I'm honestly so excited to return to the stage. It's been a really long time and uh, I think I'm really looking forward to just having that sense of community again and purpose of telling this gorgeous story that I think uh, we need now more than ever probably. Yeah, absolutely. Take me to December 15th, James, what do you think it's going to be like standing there backstage like I'm sure you did hundreds of times waiting for your cue? What do you what do you envision it to be like? Oh, I can only imagine uh, the, uh, as Steffi put it, the adrenaline is going to be way up here. Uh, I'm sure there'll be some tears backstage, on stage, in the audience. Um, uh, it's an exciting feeling to be able to reunite with those fans and with those incredible songs and that incredible story. So here we go. <laughs> and what an awesome show. I had a chance to see it when it first started here in Toronto. It just brings so much joy to everyone in the room. It takes you through the whole range yeah. of emotions. Steffi, you play Jan Janice Mosher. The, the, yeah. you, you essentially play me in the cast of the it, cast. I was going to say, I was like, <laughs> absolutely. I play the uh, rookie Rogers TV reporter, and it's uh, her first day on the job when 9-11 happens. So uh, she she has quite a, a rude awakening to, to uh, you know, the business, as I'm sure you know. And uh, it's just such a, honestly, such a beautiful journey. It's such an ensemble cast. You know, there's 12 of us on stage. And with only tables and chairs, we tell this amazing story. We play multiple characters. So it's kind of just incredibly written and directed. And uh, I'm sure James can attest to how much fun we have on stage every night, kissing the fish and drinking the screech. <laughs> and it's the best. <laughs> what do you miss most about your character? Oh, oh my goodness. You know what? Hands down, what I miss the most about my character is my blonde wig. I get to <laughs> wear a blonde wig in the show and no one ever knows that I'm, I'm in the show. Even people I know who have seen it didn't actually know I was in the show because of the blonde wig. But I miss it terribly. Uh, I think I, I look okay as a blonde, right, James? <laughs> I'll answer for him. No questions, Steffi. You look great. Blonde, brunette, purple hair, doesn't matter. Uh, James, you play one half of uh, a couple who is joined together by tragedy. You play Nick and some other characters as well. What do you miss about your character? What do you miss about being on stage? Uh, I miss uh, kissing my counterpart, Barb Fulton, uh, four, three times a show. Uh, it's a lovely story, Nick and Diane, the romance that came out of such a tragic situation. It's a beautiful story, and I'm honored to play Nick Marson and to tell his story. Um, I miss, I think what I miss the most is our Come From Kindness initiative, which came out of the show, where we have um, raised a lot of money, connected with a lot of the community, and raised a lot of uh, money for charities, um, living the message of the show, basically. 
No question about that. Uh, James, what do you what do you hope fans get to experience with you on December 15th when you're back on stage? Uh, the thrill of being together again in as a community of theater goers, theater performers, um, human beings who want to live a story, to tell a story, to be part of this amazing process that we share in. Steffi, I read that you played Janice 850 times. So this is, right. I guess, <laughs> uh, an incredibly long period. You've now almost not played her for almost as long as you've played her. We just passed the yeah. 20th anniversary of 9-11. Mm -hmm. What was it like to not be together, to not have that um, experience together as a cast on stage, which you typically do get? Yes, honestly, uh, we have done the show during 9-11s uh, um, for a couple of years and not doing it this year was honestly, it felt so wrong and so heartbreaking to not be able to be together and telling this story about human kindness and just kindness being free. And uh, I just think in this time of isolation and, and so many challenges, uh, this is really a story that we need to hear right now. And I do think that art is kind of the way back out of isolation. And uh, I think we need people. So um, it felt incredibly difficult to actually not get to perform it, though the show was being performed elsewhere around the world, which is actually really, really cool. No question. I mean, you mentioned art. It's a form of therapy. I know speaking to a lot of performers and artists through this pandemic, they've kind of been having as existential crises. They don't know who they are without being on stage or singing or dancing. What's the pandemic been like for you, Steffi? Oh my goodness. Uh, it's been quite the roller coaster ride of emotions, honestly, but uh, you described it perfectly. I think I, it's just been one really long existential crisis, I think. But, um, you know, overall, I've been really lucky to work on some other projects in film and television. I'm really impressed that the film and television industry has found a way to actually operate during this time. So, been able to tell some stories, but I got to tell you, there's nothing that compares to live theater, just having an audience in front of you and feeling the energy in a room. It's just, it's something that just doesn't compare to anything else. So I'm really excited for my return to performing on stage. I think it's going to be a wild time, a little bit scary and exciting and wonderful all no, at the same time. No question. James, tell me about the last show before the lights went dark back on March 13th, 2020. Did you guys see this happening or did you think, oh, we'll go dark for a week and then we'll be back soon? <laughs> I think I thought we'd be, out, we'd be out of work for a little while, but certainly not a year and a half. Um, it was Friday the 13th and our, the cast member, I had already mentioned Barb Fulton, who plays Diane. It was her, happened to be her birthday. Uh, it was a smaller audience, but boy, did they want to be there. It was so much excitement in the, uh, in the audience. And we had a little celebration for Barb after the show. Um, and that's how we finished. We didn't really get to say goodbye to one another. But uh, sorry, <laughs> obviously freezing up. My, my phone is, is being night so sorry about that that's okay did but, you suffer uh, the same kind of existential crises as well james <laughs> absolutely i got right into uh well i have a dog thankfully so she, <laughs> she very occupied took many 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 long walks with her did a lot of baking uh mm. visited my mother-in-law in her nursing home a lot um read tried to keep from going insane with not having that that schedule that we are so used to but uh but got to work with Steffi on a movie, and uh, yes. that was fun. <laughs> you guys remember your lines? <laughs> oh, to come from away? <laughs> yep. You know, I went. Yeah. I actually went to the theater uh, recently, just last week, to go get my script and my score. And it's so odd because nothing in my dressing room has been moved since March 13th, 2020. And it just feels like stepping into a, a time capsule. It's so odd. But uh, yeah, I, I have to hit the books really soon if I'm going to be ready to play Janice again in uh, December. <laughs> well, I'm so happy you're, you're both here. And I'm so glad that we're going to have come from away back. I think it's so important to Toronto, so important to Canada, and I wish you both just an epic night on opening night. Steffi Di Domenico Cantonio yeah, and James you got Cole. It. That was amazing. Thank you both so much for your time. <laughs> Break a leg. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Farewell to all.
your pretty ladies waving from the dock. Heave away, me jollies, heave away.